In this video, we'll analyze the Treasure Hunter. In terms of gameplay, the capability to make money, and the ability to roleplay. Treasure Hunters are integral to the RPG fantasy experience. While Skyrim often puts us in the shoes of a legendary hero destined to save the world, today we'll be taking a different approach. Our Treasure Hunter isn't the all-powerful godlike Dragonborn, but an everyday dungeon delver. This role-playing experience is all about survival, resourcefulness, and finding those hidden chests full of gold and artifacts. But is the life of the Treasure Hunter really worth it? Let's find out. Treasure hunting in Skyrim starts with exploring ancient ruins and caves. The world is filled with hidden loot, but you usually have to fight for it. Some of Skyrim's best treasures are locked behind traps, puzzles, and weird looking doors. This adds another layer to the gameplay, turning it into more than just a slash and smash experience. Slash and smash. The big orc weapon shop. Since we're playing as an average delver, we won't always be able to rush in and fight our way through high level locations to find some crazy loot. A lot of our gameplay relies on stealth skill trees. Lock picking is a must have. The chests don't open themselves, you know. Sneaking is great because we're pretty weak. It's still pretty challenging to manage though. But don't worry. There are numerous maps leading to treasures scattered around Skyrim, and you can use this video as a guide to find them. Let's take a look at the 10 first basic maps and the paths leading to their treasures. Once you escape Helgen, you need to find these signs, then head left. Then right here, on your left again, there's a camp. Yours, and this guy has the first map. And some interesting stuff as well. There we go. What a nice map. And as you can see, the treasure is near Riverwood. It should be somewhere around here. So this way, and it's in this big tree. Nice. The next map is at Journeyman's Nook. This place is a hole. Anyways, we need to kill her. There we go. Well, this was fun, but we don't actually need her. We need this guy's sack. And there we go. The second map. You can also take this money. And these potions, perhaps? Okay. Now we need to head to Valheim Towers. It's a pretty unique location. And it should be on the other side. I just don't want to talk to her. There we go. There it is. Beautiful. And beautiful. Our next map is at Riverside Shack. God, I hope it's here. Uh-huh. I'm so good. And treasure map 3. Ooh, now we need to travel to the Solitude Lighthouse. It should be around here. Somewhere behind this rock, perhaps? There we go. Ooh, worth it. Now we need to go to Redoran's Retreat. And, uh, clear this place out. Or we can just run past them. Hello. Ow. And... It's here. I'm gonna take all of this, actually. Hey, oh. thanks, guys. I know we should use stealth, but this is also fun. <laughs> and we're good. <laughs> okay, now we need to head to... Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? The, this guy's farm. The map looks like this. Um, okay. These rocks look suspicious. There it is. This is so worth it. Next stop, Angie's camp. Is it Angie or Angie? I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to her. We'll see. Name's Angie. <laughs> so it should be in this end table. And there we go. Treasure map five. Thanks and what a nice view. The treasure is a Bard's Leap Summit. It's way down the waterfall. Okay. No, 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 no. This guy is still following me. Uh, okay. So it's not this waterfall. Although there is a chest here. It's underneath this waterfall. Can you leave me alone? And it should be right here. So that's five. Ooh, a chest. 
It's in the direction of the Maroon's Dagon Shrine. Okay, that's a random encounter. Um, but we don't want that. Okay, there's a bloody trail here. Ooh, and a treasure map. We need to head to Carvanune for this treasure. And that's the tree. You know, the, the uh, tree from the map. Sneaky boy. It's not just fighting, you know. Beautiful. Oh, love it. The seventh map is a traitor's post. God, I hope this isn't a mess. Oh, no. Oh, God. No, that was a fail. <laughs> Honestly, we don't have to kill anyone. We just need to open a chest. <laughs> there it is. Treasure map 7. Nice. No, 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 no. Now we just need to run. We're good, we're good, we're good. Next stop is Gallows Rock. We need to find a rock. And I suspect it's close. And this is the entrance and this is where the chest is. Wow. Nice. Our next map is here. It's near Bleak Coast Cave. There is a bunch of hawkers here. I just need these hunters and their treasure maps. Those poor guys. What can you do? Next stop, the chest is in Dragon Bridge. Now, the chest has a master lock, but there is also a key. All we need to do to find the key is head across this bridge. And... The satchel with the key should be around here. There we go. And the chest is down under the bridge. Oh no. These are so annoying. Okay. Oh no. There's still this stupid slaughterfish. We don't need to go inside, we just need to go inside this broken house that was obliterated by a tree and loot this guy. There we go. And now we need to head to the rift. The chest is near Broken Helm Hollow. You just need to head up to the entrance and then jump a bit down. And there's the chest. Nice. Next stop is Stony Creek Cave. And we're here. We'll need to fight here a bit. None of them have the map. It's the final guy that has it. Or girl. This is awkward. Awkward. No, 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 no. Oh, money. What? Oh yeah, it's a quest. <laughs> Anyways. Lockpicks, treasure map 10. Now we need to travel to the Ladystone and swim a little bit. I think it's in this direction. Yeah, sure. There it is. Wow. Definitely worth it. Whoop. Okay. Subscribe to my channel if you want to get a bonus. Now let's take a look at the three additional treasures. These aren't numbered, but are uniquely named. We need to travel to this fort. It should be on top of a tower. It's right up here. There we go. And that's the map. And I'm gonna take all of this as well. So this is the lake with the boat. And we just head up this way. And here's the chest. Our next treasure takes us to Winterhold. We need to head to the Arcanium first. We need to find a special chest. Oh yeah, I stole them. Oh no. You would find them in the chest. Little finger is... This guy... Fun stuff. Ooh. Now to find a treasure.
That's really nice. <laughs> Look at all this loot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Oh, this was so worth it. For our final treasure, we need to travel to Solstein. And this is where the fun begins. Before we start, we'll need the ancient Nordic pickaxe. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. Oh, very well. There we go. Okay, next stop, whatever this place is. Let's go. This is what we want. This chest should be easy to open. And we have the helmet. All we need to find is the rest of the armor. Also, his treasure. All of these maps were books, so I could actually see what I need to see. And the Death Brand treasure map is a miscellaneous item, so I can't do anything. <laughs> this way. Oh, no, 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 no. And that's the armor. Bye, guys. This is near Tel Mithrin. All we have to do is go down here. <laughs> okay. There we go. Loot these guys. And run away. Our next stop is Bristleback Cave. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Oh, God. He's... How is he not dead? <laughs> okay, it should be somewhere here. Close to the waterfall. Oh, 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 no. Here's the waterfall. This is the treasure chest. Nice. Wow. And our final stop is this barrow. This is why we need the pickaxe. Amazing. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I hope there's more money here. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Come here. Two can play this game. Huh? Huh? You can never truly stop me. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh, I have too much garbage. At least we look really cool. <laughs> so we got kick ass armor, and all of this added up to about 34,000 gold, which is a lot. Not to mention all of the gold we've picked up. The problem with this whole endeavor is the abundance of tough enemies. Now, I get that comes with the job, but these smelly tomb dwellers are crazy. Smelly poopers, ha 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 ha. I'm not even talking about the annoying farmer. If this was me and not Forked Dork, I would just rather farm than jump into these hell pits. You end up traveling all over the place with tons of heavy low-value loot and garbage, only to be down by spiders. Not to mention all of your treasure hunting rivals, like bandits or just other adventurers. Ahem. <clears throat> okay, my rant is over. I'd like to compare the treasure hunter with a thief. They're both pretty similar. They want to find shiny, valuable stuff. They pick locks, and they rely on some form of stealth to get around enemies. I'd say the thief is less risky, as you can only get caught by guards or the person you're stealing from. This is a cakewalk compared to f***ing Draugr Giga Mega Lord Overlord God of Death Destroyer of Worlds. I love thief builds. However, the treasure hunter gets to explore the world in a much more interesting way. He's not just stuck in cities. He's not just sticking his hands in other people's pockets. He's looting dead people like a grown-up. Like a big boy. 
Still, a skilled thief can make a living without ever entering a dungeon. An unskilled thief dies. Don't mind if I do. You know, people are really casual about this. And I'm touching his penis. In terms of role-playing, this fits perfectly into Skyrim's world. You're not a hero tasked with saving the world, but a lone explorer seeking riches and artifacts in forgotten places. You might imagine your character as a former soldier, a rogue seeking fortune, or just someone with a thirst for pussy. Or just someone with a thirst for adventure. I've mentioned before that lockpicking is a must for this roleplay. Sneak perks are also amazing, obviously. You probably can't go wrong with the speech perk tree as well, because you'll have to sell a lot of that garbage anyways. Might as well get good deals from it. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. 